right, Dusty Diesel here. We got the control arms on yesterday, but not all buttoned up. Today we're coming back to do the spring, the, the Thurin XS uh, two and a half inch lift spring and the Fox shocks. We're gonna, we've got the truck partially propped up. We're gonna do as much work as we can without taking off the wheel because the wheel is keeping it safe, right? Once we take the wheel off, we've got more issues with, with safety. We may be old and crusty, but we want to be alive. So we're going to go in here with a 14 millimeter socket and just bust loose the shock tower bolts. Uh, maybe not, because it's not a 14 mil. <clears throat> Alright, this side should be somewhat easy. Taking the shock tower off right now. Might even throw a little paint on there. Right. Can take the plastic fender liner out of here to make this a little bit easier, get more access. But uh, I don't feel like doing that. So we're gonna let these guys loose. bolts on this truck come off pretty easy it's not driven in the salt you may have more trouble i've had to cut one bolt off this truck so far and that was on the carrier bearing i thought i was going to cut one yesterday but we got lucky cutting's hard i'm doing it's easy look at that cat like reflexes did you get that on camera mr cameraman so the shock's pushing up on this as I go, making it a little more difficult, but you know, not the end of the world. We're gonna go take the bottom off in a second. I just wanted to get warmed up. I like to get warmed up, so I started up top, but it was easy to get all limbered up. I'm gonna go ahead and do more. I already had the top off while you were looking at something else. All right, there's the three bolts. They're in ones we're gonna wanna put back. Right, they go with the shock tower. So we could probably paint that up and make it look all snazzy, but I don't know. We'll see. All right. So now we're going underneath. What I'm going to do today, because yesterday when I went inside, my back was sore from laying in the gravel, the blacktop. So when we buy stuff around here, Play with the box for about a month and a half, do cool stuff with it, then we cut it up and use it for work. Tell you what, I don't care how old you are, laying on that is a lot easier than laying on that. All right, so the shock bolts have a, uh, a nut. Oh. A flag nut on the back so you don't have to hold both sides but as you can see here I got the wrong size socket out like a ding-dong it's much larger I believe it's 18 millimeter if I'm not mistaken so the other thing we got to do under here I can see all the dust I got to loosen this track bar because we're going to adjust it that's a DT Pro Fab adjustable track bar what happens is as the truck goes up the axle shifts over and we want to shift it back. Mr. Cameraman, can you show those dents in that oil pan? See that? That's going to be in one of our other projects. I swear Bo and Luke Duke owned this thing and jumped it. But uh, we're going to get all that cleaned up, change that oil pan out. That's where a lot of the grease and all is dripping from the oil pan. Get this thing fixed up. We got all new crossover, all new... Uh, T-type steering instead of the old Y stuff. Took it all off. Replaced all this. It doesn't look new because it's greasy, but it's new. It's all brand new. There's nothing underneath the front of this truck that isn't new. We got a redhead steering box. We just like to cover everything with oil. Now we took the sway bar off because of these these Cobra style uh, sway bar buckets are a little hard to to work with. So I think we're going to flip the sway bar over. But we'll show you that when we do it. But we took it off for now. Makes it a lot easier with the lift because the arms 
of the sway bar we're catching on these as we went up and down all right i was right it's 21 my memory's but failing i just did this yesterday because if you get a bounce i'm sorry if you get a clunk in the front end a lot of times it's these shock bolts coming loose so you really got to crank them down you'll get a little just a little annoying spunk noise all right we got her out shock bolt and flag nut i think we're going to grease them up before we put them back in all right let's see if the shock comes out they're usually really tight they don't like to come out Got a hammer them out. Doesn't really tighten the bolt that much, but it bends in the metal. But I'm gonna give her a quick tug. See if we're gonna get lucky with something. Nope, I got the boot off. Yeah, she's not gonna come out easily. She's gonna fight me every step of the way. Simplest things take the longest. now because the next step is to pull the spring and the uh, spring rubber out of there. These are chrome gorilla nuts are cheesy and they strip. I don't care if they call them gorilla and charge you too much money for them. They're no good. So I've got a set of uh, true spike lug nuts in there that are a lot stronger. We put them on instead of these. These are just one or two times off and they're Steel wheels, we're just taking them off. Chinese part. Secret for putting new tires and wheels on here. Not today. Alright. When you get in here, 
here. It's nice to inspect everything. I had just done the uh, wheel bearing not too long ago. So, I know the U joint's good. We're gonna do the other one on the other side eventually. I have to tighten these guys up. I think I might do that. Uh, I guess I'll put everything back together before we do that. So now, see the spring? It's tight. Don't go messing with spring compressors and all that stuff. We let this down. We've already got our brake line loose. When we let this jack down, it's gonna let the tension off that spring that's gonna come out. Get the truck is locked up back there. So you stand back at an angle and film that. Get the shock's out so that spring can come flying out. Oh, shit. Very controlled, slow. almost new. I tell you what, this truck did not ride. It was left to right, it was quite a bit different. The passenger side was quite a bit higher. I'm wondering if that passenger spring wasn't replaced for some reason at some point. Anyway, we got our new stuff. And, uh, we're going to take a minute here, get our never cease out. You'll see the step. I like everything. Have a nice coating. Makes it a lot easier next time. Hopefully, we'll be able to. Ow! Oh, ripping strip. Nice big burr on there, buddy. Mm. Oh, metal's out of my finger now. Good. Big hunk of metal. Alright. We'll stick that there. the old ring back in because this one not popped out it's just held in there kind of the way a, a, a stud is a wheel stud so it popped out and it was just spinning so I had to take everything back apart I'm gonna use the old one it's just in pretty good shape so we're just putting a little never cease on it Nuts. All right, so get the spring back in. All right, we're just gonna have to do it the same way. Springs in, thurns up top. it up a little bit. Put that shock in later. That's where I started to go around. Alright, let's look. I don't want to put a whole lot of tension on it right now. But I don't want to lift the truck. She's got all those up. Alright, now we put shock in. Put that 
bolt in that we showed you before. Get the flag nut. wondering why are we able to put the shock in so easy it's pretty much fully extended right now shock centered because it's not right now. So we're gonna move that over just a notch. We don't want to hurt the threads. So we shouldn't even do this but bushings we don't need the adjuster anymore all right then we got to get our uh, I don't remember what size nut we got here let's go find out first there we go she is three quarter um, do we need our allens because the fox shock shaft can be held in place with an allen wrench Make sure we got the right size here. I believe it was this one. Nope, it was the big one. On the other side, you need keys that aren't attached to something. It's a little tough here, but that's what we need. Be careful when you set stuff on the battery, obviously. And we gotta get our three-quarter ratchet. So, we're gonna get her snugged up. Remember, we already have the bottom in. Battery's a little bit in the way, but I don't think it's in the way enough to bother taking out. It's a little bit tedious doing this part. Just be patient. I gotta tighten the other side still. Nothing's tight on this truck right now. This little clip down here is really good for just killing your knuckles, making you bleed a lot. I'm not using it, so I'll pull it off. set up later she's pretty good shocks in bolts on both sides gotta help hold everything together anyway we took the jack out otherwise when you take the jack out the whole thing falls apart can't be having that now can we i put the wheel back on folks everything's in everything's installed nothing's tight i'm gonna put the wheel back on so that this thing doesn't kill me so you just put the wheel around, tighten everything, look carefully, make sure everything's in, all that fun stuff. We'll bring you back for the ride. When we do the ride, that'll be another video. We, uh, we'll probably show you how to adjust the track. Sure, 
spike lug nuts come in two parts. We're just putting the bottom parts on for now. Don't worry about the spikes later when we get her all shined up. And these are deep three quarter. With a heavier tire, I like to use my knees a little of lift. So I position myself in like this. I realize it's not ideal having your legs under here. my back so now this is a lug centric wheel it does not ride on that hub the eight core lug nuts would center it up which is one of the reasons you want to run the nuts up in a sequence so I've got the cat cap out and whatever we're going to do, put back on later. These are good, high quality ones. They're not going to strip out like those other ones. So I'd like to get a good, too many turns on them. So I know we're not stripping them, cross threading them, or anything like that. Ola Jack stands out. Finished up our shocks and our springs. We come over here. After we did all that work, we'd already done the control arms. We had to do a little bit of front end alignment. Uh, I did that by eye here in, in the garage. Set the, uh, <clears throat> the washers about straight up, 12 o'clock position. Got all done, centered the steering wheel, took her for a ride, felt pretty good. So decided to go down 95 and it, zoomed on down there real nice too so we're driving 80 miles an hour she drives like she's brand new no need to go see anybody and drop 175 bucks on a front end alignment next video i think the next video is going to be the new tires these old 33s are getting a little tired old tired tires so we're going to put some new uh i think we're going to go with a little bit over 35s here but uh, that'll be a video coming up soon. And uh, Dusty out. <laughs>